Hello guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. So well today's date um, we're going to talk about what we're going to have for tomorrow and the updates and information from March. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So tomorrow we're going to have a new challenge that it says a new Heartless has arrived to cause trouble from the 1st of March to the 12th of March. Banish the District Master and clear the challenge to, e to earn Tier 7 and Tier 10 upright subslot medals. That's actually good. Good thing that we're gonna have a lot of content to get tomorrow since we're gonna do a little bit of events and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow. Then we have another event that it says Magic Gen Drop Event. It's held from, from the 1st of March to the 12th of March. We need to defeat the Luna Bandit which have a chance to drop in three types of gems. The higher difficulty of the quest, the higher the drop rate and the chances to seeing rare enemies. The rare crown pretender will always drop a gem. Equip accessories that grant rare enemy luck and drop luck to increase your chances. Absolutely very good. I think that that was the event that we had like previously um, weeks ago or months ago. I don't remember, but they did something related about this. And then we have the Coliseum board for March of 2020 featuring the hugging aqua accessory that it will provide you rare enemy luck per two. Top players will also receive a new skill. I think this is an attack boost. 12 max with gotch one i think that it's no the third i think that we're in the 12th i think we're in the 12th so i think this is going to be attack boost 12 max so uh with gotch one so that is the new skill that we're going to have and I, like i mentioned we did we, we do going to have like aqua accessories so one of them was the hugging and i think we're going to have the others hugging or the other aqua accessories as vip presents i think then we have um, in this case, limited visions for March that this will provide us a uh, Fenestar orange pet parts. So just do the usual, go ahead and farm your lux and you're going to be able to get this, um, you know, the spirit parts for this, for this very amazing creature. So that's what we got. Now we got Lamonti gem quest. We need to go ahead and clear with the Keyblades, Starlight, Olympia and Divine Rose. So you'll be able to defeat them, each one of them. And as usual, just go ahead and complete your raid quest to get, you know, uh, magic mirrors, magic brooms, chips and dells, and that's all. So, nothing usual there. Then we have the Union Cross, we're gonna have for tomorrow as well. Uh, we're gonna have from, in this case it says it's updated for the 1st of March. And I don't see where it's going to be ending up here, but it says clear quest to earn coins to get subslot medals. It's the usual, you know, upright and reverse for each one of the three attributes. So don't miss that out. That is actually a very union cross quest that you need to go ahead and complete. Then we have another one that in this case, there's the events that we're going to have. So um, in this case, it says guerrilla events. One day only guerrilla events will be held on four times through the month. Um, we're gonna have the three prize restriction battle, banish the shadows, get tier 10 subslot medals. Again, we're gonna have another quest that it's on the fourth that it says quest added to the champs of challenge. You'll be able to get sun and moon gems. Then we have a white date event, new and old white day avatar arrives. The scenario event returns. Scenario event. Haven't heard about that scenario event. Maybe it's something that it's already been done in the past, but I don't remember to be honest. Then we have two days only, Union Cross, Union Challenge, receive rewards based on how the unions perform. It's actually very interesting, it's like the, uh, the other one that we had a powerful Heartless and every single one of the Union Cross or Union persons needed to go ahead and defeat them and we actually got, you know, we got a title, we got some gems and I think, yeah, I think that it was a title and gems. I don't remember what other things that we had but I think that was the main um, situation that we're having. Then we got the Great Banishment Magic Event, um, Gem Event. Get gems based on your performance. Lux Ranking, Luxury Reward a week as well. You will be able to get 3k of jewels and 90 gems, depending on the performance of your um, Union Rank. And then we have the Union Cross Metal Evolution Support Campaign. Metal Evolution Support Campaign. Interesting. Like, hmm, Metal Evolution. That's a very interesting part from Metal Evolution, like, you know, evolving from your metals, uh, tier 9s, tier 8s, tier, I don't know about the tier 10, Supernova Plus, Supernova Plus Plus, uh, well, Supernova Plus Plus is not included still, um, so yeah, that's, that's something very interesting. I really like to see 
how this is going to perform from the Metal Evolution support campaign. That is something that I want to see. Then we have an Onward event. Get new medals from the event and login bonus. Hmm? Okay. Get new medals from the event and login bonus. Okay. That sounds very interesting as well. Then we have a raid event. Special event that drops gems. Oh, that's very amazing. Then we have another one that it says reprint avatar event. Here's your chance to get missing avatars. Oh, that's that's a, well. This is just for cosmetic. But if somebody has missed, you know, the Union Cross armor, somebody is like begging to get um, Union Cross armors in. Then we have no, you know, um, Sid, Aerith, Aqua, Terra, Ventus, Nomine, Sora, Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora, Kingdom Hearts 2 um, Kyrie, Riku, all those kind of avatars that we're not able to get. Well, I think that the reprint avatar event, that's what we're going to put there. But we don't know what kind of avatars we're going to get there, so we need to wait to see. Then we have the PvP Luxury Reward Week. As you know, you need to go ahead and be, you know, the top 100 or top 7k. So you'll be able to get, you know, gems or even jewels. So keep that in mind. Then we got the winning streak, 10 test battles, get some gems, that's good. Then we got the big bonus challenge, get to 5k of jewels, high score event as well, that's very amazing. The 20th of March, that's on Friday, perfect, I can go ahead and stream that. Then we have the 21st, commemorate Clarence screen the boot at a reprinted avatar. Without buying it, who knows, but we need to go ahead and check and see as well. Then we got the commemorative Scrooge McDuck's screen the boot. Get a reprint avatar, and then you get Union Cross Luxor rewards. Hmm, that's something different. Like I know who is Scrooge McDuck's. You know, if you see on the attack boost and all that stuff, you get you go ahead and see the Scrooge. But that's amazing to be honest. I don't know if we're gonna have something different on that type, but we'll have to go ahead and check it out. Then we got the time missions. All the targets have different appearance times. Defeat them all, and then main quest promote update. So I think in this main quest, that's where we're gonna have the the bad breakers guy as a level 35 and beyond. So uh, I haven't checked the the you know the Japan updates that if we're gonna have like one specific type, you know, upright. <clears throat> and reverse that pretty much I don't know <laughs> where it's gonna end up but uh, from level 30 that's what we're getting just like um, you know normal um, without upright and and reverse so I haven't checked on the uh, the Japanese that how it is because on the Japanese they already updated it to level 35 uh, but we still haven't get the chance to check it so I haven't checked now I have a bad news for the banner I did say that we're gonna have it for five pulls but I think that um, Square Enix is going to do a very very clever um, point of the banners right now so we got the Aerith for tomorrow but unfortunately it's a sale 66% off like Xion and the Rage form banner but this one we have to go ahead and get a supernova um, banner uh, supernova medal for three pulls it costs 1k of jewels, it's not so expensive for me, I'll just go ahead and pull it at least 6 times and that's it. Because I haven't never got a great um, luck for this kind of situations, I pull like 10 times for the Rage Form Sora, 10 times for the Xion, and well 12 I think, and I never got the, the medal and it's actually uh, kind of hard to get. So let's talk about it. So um, from 2 weeks, almost 2 weeks, like I think it's 11. Um, it will provide you 10 medals for 1k of jewels like I mentioned. The draws introduce a Supernova++ plus plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Aerith and guarantees a Supernova medal within 3 pools. Each pool guarantees 1, 6 stars or 7 Kingdom Hearts 3 medals, 1 trade medal, 2 magic medals and 10 VIP coins. And I already talked about Aerith, Aerith is just like a nominee but with defense properties and without reverse buffs and defaults for the enemy. So we got again. I'll go ahead and explain it. All targets zero SP cost. So you just need a you know just a max thing or a blux plus plus whatever you want to add him. Um, for one turn, increase all attack medals for 2.5k. It will increase general attack without reverse for 15, and it will increase your general defense. For five without reverse, just in case if everybody is telling me no, you don't have reverse. I'm just mentioning that. Then guild for 200, decrease enemies upright general power speed magic defense for 15 without reverse. Raise counters plus one, 
recovers lots of HP, restores 3 of SPs, and removes status elements like flink 6 hits. Now I get the point, this metal is very, um, you know, very OP. We're getting buffs, we're getting defense, and we're getting HP recovery like a, like a Kyrie. And we're getting, you know, um, re we're restoring 3 of SP, so this, this, this banner, this metal, it's absolutely amazing and it's very uh, powerful, so I get it. Um, then we have the AoE Super Burst Attack of Supernova, who one turn increases all metal attacks for 5k and guild, da and guild damage for 300. Resets counter per 5 and restores SP per 5. And it's activated on the first slot or activated on PvP. So, I get the point. This banner is so amazing, this metal is so amazing. But you know, this is a double-edged sword. You can go ahead and pull every kind of metal that you can get. I think on the previous banners we were able to get like whatever metal, except the, you know, the, the exclusive one, the exclusive metals that we're not gonna get. But um, in each three pulls you're guaranteed to get a supernova banner. From the luck that I got that it was the two nominees. I get the point that I don't need the, the, the Aerith, just because Aerith is just like the same as Nominate, and I got two Nominates here, I don't think that we're gonna get it, so, um, and the point here, the only difference about the Nominate and the Aerith is that Aerith is a Supernova++, plus plus. Nominate was the last, uh, I think it, she was the last perfect medal that we got that it was not introduced as a Supernova++, plus plus. but she is so OP as hell, so, I don't need any kind of necessary to pull all my jewels to get this. 6k of jewels is more than sufficient, so I'll be able to see, uh, you know what, I just pulled 6 times, I don't need more of this banner, and I'll just go ahead and save for the anniversary. Remember guys, I think that for my maximum, um, you know, appraise, or my maximum, like, um, to see how much I'm gonna waste for this banner, is just 6k. So. I think that they're doing something related, like, you know, I, as long as I know on the on the drop point, I can go ahead and check it on my cell phone just to make sure. On the drop point, remember that we're getting, we're getting you know, the um, the Rage Form Sora, it's on the on the drop point banner. So if they're gonna do the same as Xion and so on and so on, I haven't checked the, I haven't, I haven't checked the, you know, the... The possibility is to get the supernova medals on the drop point because every time they update, every time, every time they update, and I haven't checked it since Rage Form Sora was on the was on the list. So if I go to the list on my on the drop point, let me see how updated we are to get supernova medals on the banner. So if I go to the shop and then I'll check on my list just to make sure what are we gonna have. The last one that we're getting is, yeah, we're still having Rage Form Sora. We have Rage Form Sora, Gen Sid, the KR22, the TVA medals. So they still haven't updated on their fully capacity. So um, I don't know if this banner is gonna be updatable like for time to times, but you know we never actually go ahead and see like what kind of things that we're having so i think that i'm just gonna save my medals i'm just gonna sorry my jewels i'm just gonna save them i'll end up like just getting six times the Aerith, and that is it so and i think for the vip coins remember this is your last day that you're gonna have the vip coins as long as i know we only have like the poo medals um the axel medals well axel it's already gone on the avatar ports but the last thing that we have on the avatar boards is, you know, rabbit. Oh yeah, the, practically it's just the the 100 acre wood um, situation. So, and remember, do not go ahead and like save all your VIP. It get resets every month. So you want to go ahead and waste them on the poo maybe. Piglet and Rabbit are just like whatever, but you know, who is the biggest one. So that is all for today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and explain all the content that we're gonna have. So in this case, let's go ahead and just make a quick recap. We're just gonna have an event to the defeat this the this third master. We're going to have an event that it will give you like any kind of gems. Then the Colosseum that includes uh, Fenestar Orange and it will include a Hugging Aqua accessory. Then in this case I love the Hugging even so that it's Aqua. I really love that. Then we got the Gen Month event, the Raid Boss event, the Union Cross event that it will include sub slot medals. And then we already got the time and uh, well, we already got the chart that what we're gonna have 
for uh, the Union Cross, uh, sorry, um, the event of March, the things that we're going to have in March. And pretty much we're going to have tomorrow the Aerith banner that it will be a 1k per pool and for each pool you're guaranteed to have one supernova banner, I'm sorry, one supernova medal. The Aerith I think have a possibilities of one point and if you want to have it on the Mercy it will be like around zero point something I don't remember but the possibilities to get the, the, the medal it's, it's kind of a little bit hard but you know it's actually better because for, for this um, for this um, specific banner you're just like if you want to pull it if you really want it or if you want to save your jewels for the anniversary so we only have one month ahead I think that they give us like sneak peeks on the anniversary right about like 14 days or 10 days before April was going to arrive so I think we're gonna have a quick sneak peek for that so that is all I'll see you guys for tomorrow I'm just gonna put down in the description or uh, uh, you know um, <clears throat> Um, that where I'm gonna stream, I think it's gonna be like early 12 or uh, 1 p.m. Pacific. I think I'm in Eastern. No, I'm in Pacific. I think. What is my time? Uh, I don't know what time do I have here. Oh, UTC. Yeah, you know, UTC. That's that's my time. I I know that many people are from US or many people are from different countries, and you know, one one hour ahead. Maybe another hour ahead, but I think for the next week, uh, my my schedule is gonna be like change up for one for one hour. It's gonna be like one hour one hour one hour ahead, I think, and I need to go to work one hour earlier. <laughs> so yeah, kind of stuff that I need to do when I need to work on the United States. But whatever. Um, but that that is it. I hope that you enjoy for tomorrow's update. Today, just remember, I think that we have some last things that we're gonna have for today, so keep that in mind. And I'll see you guys later on the stream. That I will go ahead and do the monthly situation. And I'll, <clears throat> on the last time, I'm just gonna pull for the arid banner. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys for tomorrow. And may hearts be your guiding key. Best of luck of your journeys, guys. Peace, guys.